Well, hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here. It is a beautiful afternoon heading towards the evening. Um, I'm actually just moving some stuff around. We are going to go ahead and get these tubbed up and get them in some AP and get them started. Um, I actually have a couple burners, but I think I'm going to try this one out. <laughs> Believe it or not, I bought this one. Had it sent in, I haven't used it yet for you know chip burning or to put my iron pots on or lead or whatever else. I think it was about $70 or whatever. And two weeks after this booger came in, that was at the landfill. And the guy said I could have it. So now I have two. So anyway, I'm gonna try and get this set up on the table out there because uh, we're gonna be burning some chips tomorrow. I tried to get all my chores done today so that I could spend most of the time out here, but I'm going to go ahead and get these bad boys and some AP and get them working. Uh, we're going to be inside and outside in this video because we've got to get those chips ready to go, the um, processors. I'm going to do this this evening, get this stuff ready to go, and uh, it's just going to be bouncing around. So I'll get back at you when I've got this stuff reorganized and set up. Check it out, guys. A freebie. God, I wish I knew I was going to find that thing. But anyway, we got that set up so we can uh, start burning off our chips. It really, really would have been uh, cool if I'd have found that before I bought one. But anyway, so I got two I can do twice as much. Uh, we're getting uh, the rest of this straightened out in here, so I'm going to get the camera put up and uh, we're going to get this stuff out on the table and get it going. Okay guys, we're out here at the work table, scrap table, junk table, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I actually went to the Dollar Tree and picked these up, um, which is now not the Dollar Tree anymore. Inflation has even hit the dollar tree that has been a dollar for centuries. Now it's mostly the dollar and a quarter tree. But anyhow, I mean, you know, meat has doubled, gas has doubled. No thanks to uh, our government, our current government, anyway. Anyhow, I'm not going to go there. Anyway, I got these because they, they, a lot of times I'm having, you know, when I do my RAM. I clean them individually and it's kind of hard because I don't have them in a strainer and I saw these and these holes are just about perfect for foils to go through so I figured what I'll do I may have a few of the ram ones actually go through it because you know they're a bit smaller but this way I can take these out and shake them up and get the foils off of them a lot easier I'm hoping that this will work for me and save me. Yeah, a few are going to come through, but that's all right. But I'm hoping it'll save me a lot of effort as far as cleaning them up, because this way I can come out and agitate it and shake it every day instead of, uh, you know, having to, when I'm taking them and cleaning them like that. So we've got all this is RAM and some other type fingers. There's an old one. That's an old, old one. And then these, like I said, these are either off of game cards or uh, they could be server boards or, any, or something like that. But anyway, they're all the same, which is awesome. Because then that way they'll probably all come off about the same. But uh, we've got two combined. We have two kilos worth of fingers. So I'm going to put these guys in here. I want to get this going because this is going to take a little while. I may even have to change it out once. But uh, that ought to work great for that. And I'm going to go ahead and just put these bad boys in with this ram. Or half of it. Uh, maybe we'll just see 
see how our height is. Like that, that will just put it all in. But this way I'll be able to mix the stuff up pretty good. I think it was 2,004 grams of this material we had or something along those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a gallon or two of hydrochloric acid. Let me pull these guys through that are coming through and get them back in there. But anyway, that ought to save a lot of time cleaning these up. Like I said, there's, they're going to come through a few of them. But hopefully it'll work out good. I'll be right back. Okay. This is, uh, I think this is pool acid. It's the same thing, 31.45% um, muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid. That even went up. I was paying $13 for a box of those, which was two. It is now almost 20. So I'm going to go ahead and get this poured in here. Oops. And this isn't going to, I don't know why they do that. It never comes off. But anyhow, let me grab some tweezers. And a little water spray bottle just in case. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. But, hey, everything's ridiculous today. So, we're just going to make a simple AP. I'm actually going to make fresh AP because uh, I want these to go quick so I'm not going to use any copper too which I guess would be alright too but hoping it'll take just about a gallon that's great so there goes one gallon ten bucks Almost ten bucks. That's what you got to take into consideration too when you're doing this stuff. You got to remember all this stuff that we're using is not free. It all costs something, and your time even costs something. But you can forget about that. You can just kiss your time goodbye because that ain't happening. <laughs> This is a labor of love, not a labor of pay. <laughs> All right, let's go with our second gallon. Hopefully it will. See, I don't know why they put those on there. It's kind of a waste of time. We may actually have to put a bit more in these, but we let it go a couple of days and see what happens. And the way these are trimmed and cleaned, I mean, this is, this is beautiful. This is going to be great material to work with. Just pour this stuff slow so you don't splash it on yourself. I probably should have gloves on and a mask, but I'm actually out in the open and the breeze is going away from me. Because just the straight hydrochloric acid will gag you. Just the smell of it. Like that. It just moved back once a little bit. And step away. And then I'm going to actually divide this between the two. So let me go get a stick. I can level these bad boys out a little bit. And I'm going to show you some other salvage material that we use. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to put these back on this backboard so they're not in my way. Because they're going to be out here for a few days. And I may need a little bit more acid in this one. Let's not pull these down. But I think it's going to be all right. And hopefully I can do this with just this batch. And then I can use the AP for uh, 
something else. Okay, you didn't see this. Make your fingers feel slick. And the fumes are going to help, too. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put about half of this in here. And once you do this, now you can add more acid, but don't ever add more peroxide. Once you add this peroxide the first time, just leave it. Um, the acid is okay, but if you add more peroxide, you may start dissolving a little gold. And that is not something you want to do right now. All we want to do is dissolve copper, which is already happening, as you can see. Because this stuff is turning color. So that is that. That's about another dollar. So we've got about $21 tied up in this, just this, right now. I'm going to try and go through that today and, and put the costs in on things too so you guys understand where the money goes. We'll get this turned over here. Anywho, now we're going to go to another bit of scrap that I keep that is going to come in real handy right now. So let me grab a, them. More or less the work part of this is, is done until the foils come off. But one of the things, the main things you got to do is you got to keep the rain off of this stuff. And for anybody who knows, these bad boys are LCD from LCD TVs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that like that. I'm going to put this one here so we have an overhang off of these. And then I'm going to put these two guys right here so it doesn't blow off and those are just going to sit there but these are great covers i mean this one you know these are about maybe three eighths of an inch thick a little more than a quarter maybe but you want to talk about something that comes in handy for stuff exactly like this this is it okay guys uh the video definitely is not done but i'm going to be done for this evening out here i'm going to get back out here tomorrow and uh, start burning off some chips I'll try and not make it too boring but there's really not a lot not a lot gonna be going on with the prep I'm gonna kind of walk through all of this stuff uh, I'm, I'm not gonna you know keep you guys going the entire time you know just watching smoke but I'll put you know I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be real descript descriptive with this money wise time wise so you're going to see 30 or 40 minutes and it's probably going to be a few days or more that's going to be involved in some of this stuff so i will see you all in the morning okay guys it is the next day um, i'm actually going to grab these bad boys i think we'll do these first and get them out of the way uh, these are the copper tops the copper top bga chips or the nickel plated copper top ones. I'm going to go ahead and do them because they're a little bit more work and uh, in general I like to do I like to do the little bit harder stuff first so that the end of the refine is a little smoother and a little easier. So anyway we're going to get out in the lab and uh, we're going to get started burning these off. So we will see you back out there. Okay guys it is a nice kind of a little bit cloudy partly cloudy day it's beautiful out here right now um, let's take a walk over and uh, see how this stuff is doing we are getting quite a bit of color I don't know if you can see it through the camera I don't want to take the tops off right now but uh, it's not clear anymore we're already getting quite a bit of quite a bit of copper coming off of those going into that solution so let me get this thing set up and uh, we are actually going to get over here and we are going to start burning these boogers off. Uh, I haven't decided which pot I'm going to use yet. I'm thinking I might use this. I got an old pressure cooker that doesn't have a thing on it. You know the jiggler thing. So I may go ahead and use that uh, just because 
it's got that little hole in the top so it may help you know vaporize that smoke before we you know before it starts coming out so anyhow let me get set up and uh, we'll get right back at you hey guys just popping in for a second I wasn't gonna do this but I just wanted to show you I wasn't gonna open this up yet because I didn't think anything would be going on but as you can see we have already got some foils breaking loose there's one in fact there was one stuck to my stick there so I just wanted you guys to see that we're only at about 18 hours maybe 20 hours for this so hopefully these are gonna come off fast and the other ones about the same I already checked it uh, but anyhow I just wanted to show you that real quick so I'm gonna put this back on and we're gonna get back to getting ready to work on our chips okay guys as I have decided that this is going to be my new chip burning pot um, it's a heavy stainless steel uh, it was a little pressure cooker uh, what I've done is I've removed all the rubber and the rubber ring and the handles and everything that could burn I took it all off of here so here it all is and I took a couple of bolts sealed up the holes now because this lid is loose I don't have to worry about you know pressure building up in there and it blowing or anything like that but also it's going to contain that smoke a lot better and uh, possibly burn it off before it even comes out of the pot so that's my goal anyway I don't know if it's going to work um, but I added this stuff to it to make it somewhat easier to handle so we'll put our chips in there we will lock her down like that and then we're going to set it up on there and fire that thing up so let me get to that get the camera put on the stand and uh, we'll get right to it okay guys as you can see we have our BGA chips in there uh, these are again the nickel plated copper tops um, I'm going to put the lid on this burger Okay, so we have our lid on. Like I said, we're gonna. We shouldn't have any problem. That should contain the smoke as much as it can. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and uh, we'll see what goes on. Got a little wind out here, so it may take a little to all right. I'm gonna leave it set there for a minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera because you're not gonna really see anything. I'll pause it till it see if we get some smoke out of it or how it's gonna work. So we'll be back at you in just a little bit. I know my back atches are coming out, ain't they? <laughs> okay guys, it's been about five minutes. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of smoke starting to come out. I could smell a little bit earlier, but I had to back the camera off because that is really throwing a lot of heat. But it seems like we're vaporizing the majority of our smoke. Um, there is a li little whiffs coming out, which I know because it's not, you know, it isn't airtight. I don't want it to be because I don't want it to blow up. But uh, it is doing a pretty good job of getting rid of about 90% of the smoke. So we're just going to let it go for a few, and uh, I'll check back in in a few minutes. Okay, uh, several more minutes has passed. That is what you're seeing, if you can even see it on the camera, because I can't see it in the viewfinder. But uh, that is the maximum amount of smoke that we have had come out of that. So I think that this is going to work really good. Um, the smell is minimal compared to what it usually is when I do them. Um, I mean, if that's if that's all there is going to be to it, then this is definitely going to be the way I'm going to you know burn my larger batches of chips. Um, it just seems to be working really well. So I mean, if you can get your hands on one of these. I think it'll save you a lot of grief and a lot of smoke. So most of that smoke, or the majority of it, is actually vaporizing inside that pot. The only thing that's getting out 
is a little bit that's pushing out because of the pressure. So I'm going to just let it continue till I don't see any smoke coming out. That should tell me that all the plastic has burned off. And then we'll shut it down, cool it off, and take a look at them. One other nice thing about this pot, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Eighth to a quarter, I don't know, somewhere between that thick. So I'll also be able to grind up my mo most of my chips right inside that pot. I mean, it's going to be strong enough to do that. All right, guys, I'll get back with you when we don't have any smoke. We're going to shut it down and cool it off, and we'll be back at you then. Okay, guys, it has been a bit over 35 minutes. Uh, we have little wafts of smoke coming out. I actually went to check it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much of the smoke is it, this lid is actually keeping in. The plastic has come up, you know, from being vaporized and whatever, and it's all on the inside of the pot. That's probably what's burning off right now. But if you raise that, see that? So by having that lid, we're actually vaporizing a lot of that smoke. So I'm going to let it go until I don't see any smoke coming out. Uh, and then we're going to have to let it cool. So we may actually be kind of finishing up for today because it's going to take a couple hours for you. I'm going to be able to touch this thing. So probably, I don't know, it's not really pouring out of there when I raise it up. Well, it's kind of bad, but anyhow, we're just going to let it go until we don't have any more smoke. And uh, if we do anything else today, we will. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I know it's not tomorrow yet, <laughs> and you know my videos, I always do this. Uh, but it took about an hour to get them where I wanted to be. And you can see up under here, you know, that's where our smoke was coming from. This booger is still really, really hot. I just shut it off, so I got to keep the camera, you know, away from it a little bit. I'm holding it up over my head so you can see down in there, but that's about how I want them. So, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going to let them cool. I'm actually going to have to keep coming out and checking it because we got some rain clouds coming and I don't want to get it full of rain. So, alrighty guys, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably burn off the, the ones without the caps. And uh, in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm going to clean these guys up. Alrighty, so now this time we will see you tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. It is another beautiful day. But the only thing that's bad is you see all that green stuff out there? Now it's starting to grow like a weed. Which means I got a mow. Anyhow, there's our chips from yesterday. Uh, I was going to crush them in the pot, but I want to go ahead and get these started. I looked on the sheet. There was 728 grams of these, and there's 734 grams of these. So we're going to get a pretty good idea how much more the ones without the copper tops yield. Because, you know, a lot of that weight in these bad boys is in this, you know, it's in this copper chip right there. Or not chip, but copper heat sink. So while... Uh, we're heating up and getting these bad boys going. I'm going to grind these up. Uh, in a minute, we're going to step out here and take a look and see how our foils are doing on our ram and our fingers. So let me get the stove hooked up, or it is hooked up, but let me get the pot and everything set up, and then we'll take a look at those before we fire that thing up because it's actually just too hot to be standing next to. So give me just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are coming along good here. We've got some foils. They're actually falling out the side on their own. So this was a good little investment here, getting these uh, baskets. They're going to work just like I wanted them to. I'm going to go ahead and shake that up a little bit, loosen some stuff up in there. I don't know if you can see, but they're coming out, which is nice. Hopefully it'll make for a lot faster cleanup. Um, our foils are looking good. We've got some boards already almost completely clean. I just want to stir them up a little bit. Naturally that ram is going to take a little bit longer. It's a little harder, tougher plating. 
so maybe in a bit I'll tomorrow maybe I'll put some gloves on and pick out these uh, these boards that are the foils are completely off of like this one this one's got one little piece left on it and that'll give us uh, some more room these guys are coming good I don't know if you can see that but they're stripping off pretty nice probably got a couple in here that are ready to come out go ahead and shake these up a bit so I believe it'll be tonight uh, let's see I think yesterday was one so tonight at I don't know five six o'clock that'll be 48 hours for these so they are really I'm I'm happy with how they're coming they're coming out pretty good all righty so we checked them out um, let me get the pot up here get the get those BGA chips in there and we're gonna start burning those off and grinding up our other ones okay everybody we got our pot fired up um, I actually took one of the bolts out so we could get a little more ventilation we may get a little more smoke but uh, this took a little over an hour yesterday so I'm thinking maybe with one open like that a little more air will get in and it'll go a little faster or escape so we don't have so much pressure in there but anyway I'm gonna go ahead uh, I got my little bench area cleared off I got this stuff to go through this is an old-timey radio. I don't know if there's anything any good. I think these bad boys have silver in them, but I don't really remember. I know these look like they do because they're mirrored, but I got to get this stuff cleaned up and tore apart. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get those chips ground up. Get over here and get them. And uh, I'm going to pick out these copper tops and throw them in this little copper top bag over here and one day we'll make something out of them i don't know <laughs> but anyway so let me get the camera on the stand and uh, we'll be back at you in just a bit okay um i normally when i have just little batches i use my little mortar and pestle i was going to buy a bigger one of these um, but they're like somewhere around 75 dollars and i mean this and this will do the same thing and both of these are scrap so anyhow I'm not going to put you through all of this but this is basically what we're going to do uh, I've just got this high side stainless steel bowl um, I'm going to grind this like this then we are going to get set up to wash it and rinse it so that we just have our ash our concentrated ash and then we will uh, put that after we pick out all these tops and stuff and get it ground up we'll put that in our uh, acid I haven't decided if I'm going to use nitric or hydrochloric yet anyway and get rid of the rest of the little bit of base metal that's going to be in here and uh, then we'll be ready to get that refined out. So I'm going to continue doing this. Like I said, there's no point in making you watch. Uh, it's just going to be crushing and cleaning. Uh, we're already getting a little bit of smoke out of our pot, so I think that vent hole, opening up that one vent, is going to make a, a good difference as far as speed goes. All right, uh, when we got something else to show you, I will be back. okay guys I'm just popping back in for a second I just wanted to show you something these little guys um, even after I'm crushing them it looks to me like they have an extra layer of fiberglass or something because I I mean it comes right off but I'm having to pretty much pick up each one of these and bend them to, to get that to come loose so this is probably going to take a little while longer than I expected. I mean, it comes off good. It is burnt. It is ash. But that little extra layer there seems to be 
kind of holding it. It's got like a little divot around here and it kind of grabs onto that fiberglass. So even though they looked like they were completely clean, I mean some of them come completely clean, whoops, but most of them are, they've got this and I don't know how well you can see it, but it actually looks like fiberglass that's inside, or like there was a layer of fiberglass inside. So I just wanted to show you that, just to show you that there's almost always something different. And right here, this is what's holding on to that fiberglass, that little, it's almost like a lip. So I just wanted to pop in and show you that because I thought I would be done with this by now, but obviously I'm going to have to do a little more hand work. Um, our other chips are going good, and uh, that's pretty much our update right now. So we'll get back at you guys in a little while. Okay guys, right quick I just want to explain what's going on. Um, our other chips are cooling. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking spoonfuls of this ash. I took everything that would go through this strainer and it's in this bowl. Okay, Everything that didn't is in this bowl. So what I'm doing now, and this is where I said maybe one day I'll get a bigger one of these. I don't have a ball mill, but I don't do chips that often. So this actually works good for me. And if I had the one that was four inches tall, you know, I would just be doing more at a time. I just have to, I guess, get it in my head that it's worth the $70. So this is what I'm doing. And I'm grinding this down. of these and I put them in this fine I think it's about a 50 mesh strainer it may be a little finer or a little less than that but I'll do a couple of these spoonfuls in here like that and it's it takes a little bit of time but it's not bad it actually this actually took me a lot I should be done with this but uh, it took me longer because I don't know what is on the back of some of these little guys, but I'll, I, I show, I'll show, I showed you earlier in the picture, but it's like this stuff was stuck on there with some extra fiberglass. So anyhow, it took me longer to get these ready. I should have just been able to pick out the pick out the heat sinks and start doing this, but I actually had to. About 80% of them I had to bend the heat sink to get the stuff to come off of it. And it's plenty burnt. So this is what I'm doing right here. And what this is doing is just fine grinding this powder. And then I take it here and I go ahead and just sift it through. Now everything that stays in this screen I'm going to put back in this pan and I'm going to burn it all again because if I was to take that uh, inside right now and put it under the scope it would be full of gold you know full of little gold wires so I get it down like that that won't go through so I flip that into there and I just repeat the process until I'm done. Now when this gets, when this screen starts hitting this powder, then I'll put it in this jar. And I suggest not using any beakers that you want, <laughs> that you want to use again. Um, I would suggest using a jar for your powder and for your cleaning and stirring because these little guys right here, when they're broken up, the little, the little silica dies, they will cut your beakers, your jars, anything you put them in, they'll scratch it all up. So my suggestion is use jars for this procedure. Um, that way you're not going to mess up any of your good beakers, unless you just got some old ones you don't care about. But anyhow, I'm going to continue doing this till this is done. Uh, I'm probably also going to grind those other chips. Uh, I'm going to reburn this while I'm finishing this up in this little burn pot and just keep on trucking. Uh, we're probably going to end up 
just doing this part today, the burning and the, and the crushing. Um, tomorrow, uh, maybe, maybe I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. It's Sunday. Uh, so probably Monday I'll get back out here and uh, I will soak this stuff up and start cleaning it out so I can concentrate it down. Um, I'll probably get back with you one more time before we wrap this up. So let me go ahead and, and uh, get get finished with this one so I'll, by the time those other ones cool I can get to them. So we will see you guys in just a bit. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this is some of the ash that has been uh, reburned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to crush this until we end up with just silica. In other words, just the silica chips. So as long as I see black after I crush this again, I'm gonna, if it's still black in there and not silver, I'm going to burn it again. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, that, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see it's not white, but it's not black. It's actually kind of a grayish silvery color. Um, that's just silica. So when I get it down to that stage, then I'll know that uh, I've got all the plastics burned and uh, in my concentrates. So I'm going to continue to do this. I've got one more little pot burning off. Uh, I'm going to crush that up. Crush this up again. If we have any more black, we're going to do it, do the process again. Like I said, until there's no black. All righty, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, I poured some done silica chips in with this other ash that needs to be burned again. I wanted to show you that there is definitely a distinct difference. As long as there's black in there, you've got bond wires tied up in plastic. Once you get it like this, then you know everything has been burned off and you're, you know, you've got it all done. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'll just shake this up together and burn it again. It's not going to matter. The chips aren't going to hurt anything. But I wanted you to see what I was talking about earlier because I know it was kind of hard to see in that jar. So anyhow, I'm going to finish this batch up and uh, start grinding on the other ones. And I'm starting to get a little tired, and I know this video is getting a little long in the tooth, so I may do a little bit of grinding off camera, um, and then call it a day and get back out here Monday. So we're going to call this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Money-wise, we've burned probably a third of a tank of uh, propane. I want to show you. Let me get it away see how white those are getting that's the pieces that are left this is our other ones that we just did so we are going to get them done but I don't know maybe call it ten dollars in propane uh, eight dollars in propane so anyway that's where we are today we haven't used any other acids or anything so I am going in in a few minutes I think I'm gonna have me a cerveza and uh, we're going to call this video, guys. So everybody take care. Stay safe out there. And we will see you guys in the next video.